Now, before I started this channel, way, way, way back when I was in college, I did a couple of reviews where I looked at NECA figures. So I figured I'll post a couple of these up, just as throwbacks, and I hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, I'm back with NECA's Robocop figure. Robocop was a 1987 science fiction film about a cyborg police officer. It starred Peter Weller as Murphy, the man that becomes Robocop. Sally, I hear Peter Weller's likeness is not for sale so the helmet does not come off to show his face. Robocop has much articulation, so let's get to it. His head is on a ball joint and can move up and down, side to side, and spins all the way around. His arms are on ball joints and can spin 360 degrees as well as move up and down. Hinge joints at his elbow and swivels on his wrist. His diaphragm seems to be a ball joint, able to turn side to side, bend forward and back, and also able to tilt. At his waist he has a swivel, able to have a 360 rotation. His legs are ball jointed and able to move in many directions. If you move the arm, it's able to rotate all the way around. The knee is a hinge joint, the feet are also on hinge joints, with pretty cool working pistons. Like all NECA figures, the detail is great. This 7 inch figure is painted in a cool silver with a blue tint, which will stand out in any collection. Even the OCP Police 001 is detailed on his left leg and the right side of his helmet. For Robocop's accessories, he comes with two items, the Data Spike Hand and an Auto 9 Pistol. The Data Spike Hand is a neat accessory. In the film it's used to log into computers as well as a weapon. It's a glossy black, like his other hand and features a silver metal needle that protrudes from the center. It's not attached by a ball joint like other NECA figures, but rather a peg system. It is a little hard to pull off. Just give it some force and you should be fine. The Auto 9 pistol is also cool. The detail is okay and made from one piece of black plastic. To put it in his hand, simply slide it in his palm, like so. Compared to Simon Belmont, they are exactly the same height, 7 inches. Well, that does it for Robocop. I'll see you all next time.